Nama was an ancient Egyptian king of the early dynastic period, probably the successor to the protodynastic kings Scorpion and Orkar. Some consider him the unifier of Egypt and founder of the first dynasty, therefore the first king of a unified Egypt. The identity of Nama is the subject of ongoing debate. Although mainstream Egyptological consensus identifies Nama with the first dynasty pharaoh Menes, who is also credited with the unification of Egypt as the first pharaoh. This conclusion is based on the Nama palette which shows Nama as the unifier of Egypt and the two necropolis seals from the necropolis of Abydos, that show him as the first king of the first dynasty. The approximate date of Nama Menes is mostly estimated as close to the 31st or 32nd century BCE. Although recent Egyptological literature comprises estimates of anywhere between the 34th and the 30th centuries BCE reign, the famous Nama palette, discovered by James E. Quibble in 1898 in Hierakonpolis, shows Nama displaying the insignia of both Upper and Lower Egypt, giving rise to the theory that he unified the two kingdoms. Since its discovery, it has been debated whether the Nama palette represents a historic event or was purely symbolic. In 1993, however, Gunter Dreyer discovered in Abydos a year label of Nama depicting the same event as that on the Nama palette which clearly shows that the Nama palette depicts an actual historic event. The mainstream Egyptological consensus identifying Nama with Menes is by no means universal. This has ramifications for the agreed history of ancient Egypt. Some Egyptologists hold that Menes is the same person as Horoha and that he inherited an already unified Egypt from Nama. Others hold that Nama began the process of unification but either did not succeed or succeeded only partially, leaving it to Menes to complete. Arguments have been made that Nama is Menace because of his appearance on a mud seal impression found in Abydos in conjunction with the game board, Hieroglypha, Minnesota, which appears to be a contemporary record of the otherwise unattested king. Another possible theory is that Nama was an immediate successor to the king who did manage to unify Egypt, but he adopted symbols of unification that had already been in use for perhaps a generation. Two necropolis mud ceilings listing kings recently found in the tombs of Den and Qaa show Nama as the founder of the first dynasty, who was then followed by Hor Aha. The QAA ceiling shows all eight kings of the first dynasty in the correct sequence beginning with Nama. Menes is not mentioned on either list of kings because at that time the name generally used on the monuments was the Horus name. While Menes was a personal name, his wife is thought to have been Nidhotep, a princess of Lower Egypt. Inscriptions bearing her name were found in tombs belonging to Nama's immediate successes Horoha and Deja, implying that she was the mother of Horoha. Tomb and Artifacts Nama's tomb is composed of two joined chambers found in the Amel Qaab region of Abydos. It is located next to the tomb of Ka, who ruled Upper Egypt just before him. Nama is well attested throughout Egypt and southern Canaan. In Egypt his Serik has been found at 12 sites, 3 in Upper Egypt, 7 in Lower Egypt, and 1 each in the Eastern Desert and the Western Desert. During Nama's reign, Egypt had an active economic presence in southern Canaan. Pottery sherds have been discovered at several sites, both from pots made in Egypt and imported to Canaan and others made in the Egyptian style out of local materials. The latter discovery has led to the conclusion that Egypt's presence in Canaan was in the form of a colony rather than just the result of trade. While Egypt's presence in Canaan has been explained as the result of a military invasion, this view is not generally accepted. Fortifications at Tel Es second dating to this period and almost entirely Egyptian in construction suggest a military presence, if not a military invasion. The extent of Egyptian activity in southern Canaan is shown by the discovery of 33 serics on pottery sherds at sites in Canaan dating from the protodynastic period to the beginning of the First Dynasty. 
Thirteen of these belonged to Nama, and came from six different sites. Tel Arad, Anbisor, Tel Esakan, Naholtila, Tel Arani, and Lod. An additional Serik from Lod is attributed to Nama's probable predecessor, Ka. Significantly only one is attributable to Nama's successors, Tahor Aha, his immediate successor. The remainder of the Seriks either have no name on them or have a name not attributable to any known pharaoh. Nama's Serik, along with those of other pre-dynastic and early dynastic kings, has been found at the Wadi, Amera in the southern Sinai, where inscriptions commemorate Egyptian mining expeditions to the area. During the summer of 1994, excavators from the Nahal Tiller expedition in southern Israel discovered an incised ceramic sherd with the Seric sign of Nama. The sherd was found on a large circular platform, possibly the foundations of a storage silo on the Halif Terrace, dated to C. 3000 BCE, mineralogical studies of the shirt conclude that it is a fragment of a wine jar which had been imported from the Nile Valley to Canaan. After about 200 years of active presence in Canaan, Egyptian presence peaked during Nama's reign and quickly declined after that. Gallery of Images Alabaster statue of a baboon divinity with the name of the pharaoh Nama inscribed on its base, on display at the Egyptisches Museum Berlin. A mud jar ceiling indicating that the contents came from the estate of the pharaoh Nama, originally from Tarkin, now on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York City. The Nama mace head, on display at the Ashmolean Museum, Oxford, UK. Pottery shirt inscribed with the Serican name of the pharaoh Nama on display at the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. Nama wearing the Deshret crown of Lower Egypt on the Nama palette. Incised inscription on a vessel found at Tarkin, naming King Nama, Petri Museum UC 16083. Bibliography Andalkovich, b. The relations between early Bronze Age I Canaanites and Upper Egyptians, Belgrade. Faculty of Philosophy, Center for Archaeological Research, ISBN 86-802-69-17-4. Political Organization of Egypt in the Pre-Dynastic Period, in Tita, e. Before the Pyramids, Chicago. Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago, ISBN 9781885923820. Baines, J. Origins of Egyptian Kingship, in O'Connor, D. Silverman, D. P. Ancient Egyptian Kingship, Leiden, New York, Cologne. E. J. Brill, pp. 95-156, ISBN 90-04-10041-5. Brown, E. Early Interaction Between Peoples of the Nile Valley and the Southern Levant, in Tita, E. Before the Pyramids, Chicago, Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago, ISBN 9781-885923-820. Campaign O. M. Ethnicity and Changing Relationships Between Egyptians and South Levantines During the Early Dynastic Period, in Madant Ray. Tristan, Y. Egypt at its Origins 2, Leuven, Peters, ISBN 978904291994-5. Cervello Autorori, Joseph, Namath, Menace and the Seals from Abydos, Egyptology at the Dawn of the 21st Century. Proceedings of the 8th International Congress of Egyptologists, 2002, Cairo. The American University in Cairo Press. Cervello Autorori, Josep, was King Nama Menace, Archeo Nil 15. C. Alevich, K. M. The Pre-Dynastic, Early Dynastic Period at Tel El Farca, in Tita, E. Before the Pyramids, Chicago, Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago, pp. 55-64, ISBN 9781-885923-820.
Dodson, Aden, Hilton, Diane, the complete royal families of ancient Egypt, Thames and Hudson, ISBN 0-500-05128-3. Dreyer, G. Abydos, um LQAAB, in Bard, Carr, Schubert, S.B., Encyclopedia of the Archaeology of Ancient Egypt, New York, Rutledge, ISBN 0-415-185890, Egypt's Earliest Event, Egyptian Archaeology 16. Edwards, IES, The Early Dynastic Period in Egypt, The Cambridge Ancient History 1, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, Edwards, W.B., Archaic Egypt, Culture and Civilization in Egypt 5,000 Years Ago, London, Penguin Books, Gardner, Allen, Egypt of the Pharaohs, Oxford University Press, Hassan, F.A., K.A.F.R. Hassan Dawood, Egyptian Archaeology 16, 37-39, Higi, Thomas, who was Menace, Archaeonil 24, 59-92, Jimenez, Serrano, Los Primeros Reyes y la Unification de Egipto, The First Kings in the Unification of Egypt, Jan, S. Universidad de Jan, ISBN 978848439357-3, Canair, Jacques, What is Really Known About the Nama Palette, KMT, A Modern Journal of Ancient Egypt, Lloyd, Allen B., 1975, Herodotus, Book 2, Leiden, E.J. Brill, ISBN 90-04-04179-6, Levy, Tay, Van den Brink, ECM, Goran, Y, Alon, D, New Light on King Nama and the Protodynastic Egyptian Presence in Canaan, The Biblical Archaeologist 58, 26-35, DOI, 10.2307, 3,210,465, Mudant Reigns, B. The Prehistory of Egypt. De Miracher G. P. Sacken, Teles, in Stern, E. Gever, H. Paris, A. The New Encyclopedia of Archaeological Excavations in the Holy Land. Supplementary Volume 5. O'Connor, David, The Nama Palette, A New Interpretation, in Tita, E. Before the Pyramids, Chicago, Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago, ISBN 9781885923820, Porat, N. Local Industry of Egyptian Pottery in Southern Palestine during the Early Bronze Period, Bulletin of the Egyptological Seminar 8. Quibble, je, slate palette from Hierakonthalis, Zeitschrift für Egyptische Sprache und Altertumskunde 36, Schulman, R., Nama and the Unification, A Revisionist View, Bulletin of the Egyptological Seminar 11, Seidel Mayer, S., The Rise of the Egyptian State to the Second Dynasty, in Schultz, R., Seidel, M., Egypt, The World of the Pharaohs, Shaw, Ian, The Oxford History of Ancient Egypt, Oxford University Press, Taylet, P. Layersny, D. I. R. Y. Hore Namaro Sud Sinai, Un complement à la chronologie des expeditions mineres égyptiennes, Bulletin de l'Institut français d'archéologie orientale 112, Tilsley, Joyce, Chronicle of the Queens of Egypt, London. Thames and Hudson, Wilkinson, Ta, Early Dynastic Egypt, London, New York, Rutledge, Yaden, Y, The Earliest Record of Egypt Military Penetration into Asia, Israel Exploration Journal 5.